It's story time. On the count of three, let's say the story bag poem and see what's inside. One, two, three. Story bag, story bag, what have you to say? Story bag, story bag, what's in you today? We have a donkey. This is a funny story from England called Lazy Jack. Story ears open, story mouths quiet, story buckles buckled, and let us begin. Once upon a time long ago there lived a mother and her son named Jack. Jack was a very lazy teenager, and when his mother asked him to help her with the chores, he would say later, I'm tired. But he never helped. Finally, his mother said, Jack, you must help out with chores and get a job, or you will have to leave and make your own way in the world. Well, of course I'll help, Mom. Why didn't you say something? Jack went out and got a job with a neighboring farmer. The farmer paid him a penny, which was a lot of money in those days. When he came home, his mother said, Jack, what did you earn? A penny. Where's the penny? asked his mother. Jack looked at his hand. I was holding it, but now it's gone. Oh dear, said his mother, that will happen with a penny. But if you put it in your pocket, it will be safe and sound until you get home. I'll remember that for next time, said Jack. The next day, Jack hired himself to the farmer, and the farmer gave him a bucket of milk for his pay. Milk, said Jack, my mother will be so happy. Now what did she say? Oh, I'm supposed to put it in my pocket. He poured the milk in his pocket. When he got home, his mother said, what did you earn? Milk, said Jack. Where's the milk, asked his mother. Right here in my pocket, said Jack. Jack, you don't put milk in your pocket. If you get a bucket of milk, carry the bucket on your head. That way the milk won't spill. I'll remember that for next time, said Jack. The next day, Jack hired himself to a farmer, and the farmer paid him a big block of freshly churned butter. Butter! My mother will be so happy! Now what did she say? Oh, I'm supposed to carry it on my head. Jack put the butter on his head. It was a very hot day, and the butter melted and ran down his hair and onto his clothes. When he got home, his mother said, What did you earn? Butter, said Jack. Where's the butter? It melted on my head. Jack, said his mother, you don't carry butter on your head. If you get butter, wrap it in a bit of brown paper and carry it in your hands. That way it won't melt. I'll remember that for next time, said Jack. The next day he hired himself to the farmer, and the farmer paid him a cat to keep away the mice and rats. A cat! My mother will be so happy! Now what did she say? Oh, I'm supposed to wrap it in some brown paper. Jack tried to wrap the cat in brown paper, but the cat hissed and scratched and ran away. When he got home, his mother said, What did you earn? A cat. But it didn't like that brown paper, and it ran away. Jack said his mother, You don't wrap a cat in brown paper. If you get a cat, make a collar and leash out of string and lead it home. That way it won't run away. I'll remember that for next time, said Jack. The next day, Jack hired himself to a butcher. The butcher paid him a big piece of meat. Meat! My mother will be so happy! Now what did she say? Oh, I'm supposed to lead it home with a leash. Jack tied the meat to a piece of string and pulled it home in the dirt. When he got home, his mother said, What is that? Meat, said Jack. Jack, said his mother, the meat is ruined. You don't drag meat in the dirt. If you get meat, carry it on your shoulder. That way it will stay clean. I'll remember that for next time, said Jack. The next day, Jack hired himself to a farmer, and the farmer gave him a donkey. A donkey? My mother will be so happy! 
Now what did she say? Oh, I'm supposed to carry it on my shoulder. Jack put the donkey on his shoulder and the donkey brayed and kicked. Now it just so happened that Jack passed the castle of a king on his way home. The king had a daughter who was so sad she had never laughed or smiled in her whole life. The king had tried everything. Finally, he made an announcement. Anyone who can make my daughter laugh will get half of my kingdom, get to marry my daughter, and become the next king. Well, it just so happened that the princess was looking out of her window. When Jack walked by, she saw the donkey kicking and braying, and she had never seen anything so funny in all of her life. She started to laugh. The king was so delighted, he had Jack marry his daughter, he got half of the kingdom, and he would be the next king. When Jack came home with the crown, with the princess, and the donkey, his mother was very surprised indeed. And there be my story, be it bitter or sweet. Take what you like, but leave enough for me to eat. <laughs>